Hello and welcome to Sketch Together. My name is Pablo Stanley, and today we're going to learn how to create an icon set library inside Sketch with a new plugin called Sketch Icons. We're going to be using SVG files, and we're going to be adding these SVG files as a mask so we can add a color layer to it. Hopefully we get to do this in under five or six minutes. Let's do it. Okay, so here are the steps that we're going to take to create our icon library. So the first thing, we're going to download our plugin. Then we're going to download the icons uh, from Font Awesome. Then we're going to create colors and turn them into symbols so we can reuse them. And then we're going to import our icons using the plugin and then turn everything into a library so we can use our icon set in different documents. So the first thing that you want to do is go to the plugin page and it's a GitHub page. I'm adding the link on the description so you can go there uh, and also go to fontawesome.com. So I'm going to go here and here uh, the uh, plugin is in a GitHub page. There are some instructions here. I'm going to download here, find this button and just download as a zip. I'm going to download it to my desktop. There you go. That's a plugin. And I'm going to go to fontawesome.com and then it's just going to go to download free. And then here, I'm going to also download it to my desktop. It's just a zip file. This one is, takes a little bit longer. I'm going to go over here. Then first thing, I'm going to open my, uh, my plugin. And what I want to do is go over here and find this file that says the sketch icons .sketch plugin. Just double click on it. And then it should install the plugin. And then here, I'm back on my folder, I'm going to open the zip file from Font Awesome. You're going to find that inside advanced options and then raw SVG. That's the one we want. So over here, the first thing we want to do is create some colors. So uh, the colors are, we're going to be able to reuse these colors when we create our symbols. So I'm going to just add a rectangle, just a weird rectangle. I'm going to add a, a color to it. And then I'm going to turn this into a symbol. So I'm going to create a symbol. I'm going to call it color slash primary. There you go. So now it's a symbol. I'm going to double click so we can see it on the symbols page. And here I'm just going to duplicate it so we, I can have multiple colors. There you go. I'm going to call this one, uh, I'm going to call it dark. And then this is going to be gray. Three colors for now. I'm going to zoom in so we can see what's going on. I'm going to change the same name of this to instead of primary, I'm going to call it dark. And this one, I'm going to call it gray. There you go. Now we have our colors. Just going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to move over here. And then here I'm going to import my icons. So uh, we're going to go to plugins and you're going to find the new plugin called Sketch Icons. And then here Sketch Icons has uh, multiple options. The one that we need right now to create our library is the one that's Import Icons or Command Shift I. So import icons and then here it gives you in this window different options. I like the defaults of uh, an arbor size of 24 pixels. Uh, you can change the padding here. Uh, it depends on how you like it. Uh, I'm going to change it to two pixels and then I'm going to convert it to symbols. So my icons are symbols and then I'm going to add a layer mask or, or a color mask. So, and here you can use it from symbols or from a color picker. So a color picker, you can just select any color that you want uh, or symbols. Symbols, this way we use the color that we just created. This is going to be a little bit better. I think uh, that way we can change the color later on any icon. So from the current file, and I'm going to say continue. And this is where I select the folder that I was telling you with the SVG files. So I'm going to go to Font Awesome. And then here I'm going to go to advanced options and inside advanced options, you're going to see a folder that's called raw SVG. And that's what we want. If you find another icon set that gives you the raw SVG files, then you will be able to use that icon set too. So here I have uh, multiple folders here. Uh, I'm going to use the one that is regular. And here you're going to see the files are just the SVG files. This is perfect. This is what I want. So I'm going to select all of these guys just going to select select and then it just created my icon library for me and apparently it it did something there I'm just going to move these guys over here out of there there you go so now I have my icon library set I have all my icons the names are coming from the name of the file so calendar check for example calendar alt 
all of the icons are coming, the name are coming from there. And as you can see, if I go to any of these icons, let's go to the one that is called edit, you're going to see here on the layers list that there's the color uh, layer, and then below is the icon acting as a mask. If I were to remove this as a mask, right now it's a mask, I don't want it as a mask, you will see that it's just the, the color symbol, it's just being uh, added to my artboard and then resized to the size of the artboard, which is pretty, pretty cool. This is going to save you a lot of time. So there you go. Now I have my icon set and now I want to be able to use it somewhere else. So what I can do is add this file as a library. So I'm going to just save this file. So I'm going to go to sketch and then preferences. And then here in the preferences, I want to go to the libraries tab. And then here in the library tab, I can add a new library. So I'm going to add a library and I'm going to select that same file that I just created, the one that, I, that we have here. I'm going to open it. And now it has been added as a library. It's over here on the bottom, sketch icons test. So now I can close this and I can go and open a new document. And inside the new document, I can just insert a sketch icons test. I can insert all these icons. And then also I can change the color of it since it's coming from the same library. Look at that. Pretty dope, right? And then I can just go and change it. As you can see, I'm in a totally new document. And since I'm using this as a library, those icons are not added as a symbol. They live in their own library. So over here, let's say that I put this, the color, the color primary to all of these. And let's change the icon of this. And now, if I go back to my library and I change the, the primary color to something else, Let's say that instead of a blue, now we want it to be, I don't know, over here, like a pink or whatever the, this color is. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I save this file. I go back to my new file. And then over here, you're going to see a library update. Now you're going to see that the color has been changed. I update my symbols and the color has been changed on a totally different document too, because these icons are being used as a library. So there you go, a really easy and quick way to create an icon library with SVG files and adding a color mask with this plugin. Really, really cool stuff.